We're glad you've come to visit Megacity today. There's a lot to show you. First, a little history. Megacity began on this spot almost 250 years ago. Since the 2030s, millions of people have migrated here. Some of us were drawn to the ever-expanding job possibilities and the access to culture, resources, and security. Others were displaced from regions affected by climate change, neglected infrastructure, or lackluster economies. Those millions created a huge demand on megacity systems and resources, and massive shifts had to be made in how things were done to ensure that our city would continue to evolve in a sustainable way. On this tour, we'll highlight some of the engineering solutions that have kept Megacity moving forward, and also point out some of the issues we still struggle with. Keep your eyes peeled, there's life all around you. Today in 2070, 50 million people move, eat, live, and age here in Megacity. We're extremely dense, but we value our quality of life. Of course, not everything is perfect. We learned long ago that we had to work in concert with our natural ecosystem. After all, we rely on it for our nutrition, recreation, air quality, and mental health. Take the river, the root of our city. It needs our help to stay healthy and to flow freely, but we also need to manage it to minimize flood risk to our residents and structures. We constantly need more space as we continue to grow, but new materials are expensive and scarce, so we reuse and recycle everything and it often makes more sense to do some creative repurposing of existing spaces rather than build from scratch. Adaptive reuse is the foundation of our circular economy. A movement a few decades back fought to preserve some of our iconic structures. Our beloved stadium here has been rebuilt a few times, even though from the outside, it looks exactly the same. Because of the sheer mass of commuters moving around at any given time, our transportation hubs are now more than ever incorporated into the surrounding neighborhoods and are places we want to be rather than have to be, where we meet for work, dining, learning, shopping, and entertainment. Transitioning between automated street vehicles and vertical aerial drones is nearly seamless thanks to the huge amounts of data driving the very complicated web of transportation. When planning a trip, you're given a host of options that consider time and cost. And if time is especially limited, you might take to the air. In Megacity, data is gathered and monitored constantly and follows us wherever we go. Our homes and workspaces know our lighting, temperature, and musical preferences, and the transit system knows our regular routes. But in a city with 50 million people, we value our personal privacy more than ever. So the city, private companies, and the residents work together to make sure that the data we provide won't be abused. A two-dimensional map of Megacity would only give you a small glimpse of what's really going on here. We're much more aware of all the layers of our city, and not only those in front of our eyes. Engineers have woven sensors into our landscapes and materials, making the city smarter, but access to that information has made us smarter too. Things that were previously below ground, above our heads, behind walls, or completely invisible are now part of our understanding. Moving around the city is a three-dimensional dance driven by huge amounts of data input and lots of options. If you live high in the downtown district, you may not even come to street level for days, making use of the elevated walkways to meet up with friends in neighboring buildings and catching drone rides from the rooftop to the metro station, where you can join a platoon of autonomous vehicles to another district. AI and robotics have integrated themselves into the fabric of our daily lives, but that's opened up new opportunities, both for jobs and our creative exploration. 3D printing and automated fabrication have brought producers and consumers closer together, creating new hyper-localized markets and making the city more self-sufficient. New buildings are mixed use and adaptable. Through the use of AI and sensors, the layout and climate of a space can change instantly depending on the user, and a modular approach means a space can be shifted to accommodate the infinite needs of its residents. In this part of the city, a building might have everything its residents need housed inside it. 
We don't have to travel far to get to clinics, schools, or restaurants, and much of our energy production and waste reclamation even happens on site. As you might imagine, emergencies are part of everyday life here. Mega city systems all have more than one job. All the autonomous vehicles in the city double as traveling battery packs, providing easily accessible backup power at short notice. There are multiple redundancies in place so that water, energy, and other resources can be quickly redistributed. This is often true down to the building level, where microgrids take the burden off the larger system and allow most residents to shelter safely in place, avoiding the need for mass evacuations. While some areas of Megacity have benefited from years of investment, others have developed more recently in response to ongoing migration. Safe housing for newer, more vulnerable residents can still be a challenge, but these younger neighborhoods are nimble and often use the lack of structure to their advantage. The best of their innovative, creative problem solving, such as modular housing and reusable building materials, have trickled up and rippled out to the wider city. Everything about infrastructure is more flexible these days. In fact, nothing in Mega City feels stagnant. Because things change so quickly, we now take for granted that we'll likely have several careers across our lifetimes, retraining as we go to keep up. Beyond the dynamic changes in the approach to infrastructure in Megacity 2070, the domain of civil engineers today is also to improve how people feel in the city, to help them acclimate and thrive in their environments. Sure, dramatic advancements in AI, data application, and robotics have vastly changed everyday life. But these advances have also improved the safety of the people who live and work here. Ultimately, we must decide how to use these new tools to create the future we want.